hello everyone welcome to the yarn bowl today in this video we're going to see how to crochet this beautiful mayflower crochet earrings made with fine crochet thread meanwhile if you're new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever i post a new video So for this project I'll be using anchor crochet thread and a 1.25 millimeter crochet hook. For round 1 we are going to work a magic ring and uh, we are going to work a chain 3 on the magic ring. This chain 3 is considered as our first double crochet and then we'll work 2 more double crochet on the magic ring. So all together these 3 will be considered as our three double crochets on our magic ring and then once we are done with that we are going to work a chain five so and then once we are done with chain five we'll work three double crochet and chain five four more times so we work three double crochet on the magic ring and chain five four more times so all together we'll have five set of three double crochet with in between chain five spaces so go ahead work three double crochet chain five three more times as we have already worked two sets of three double crochet and chain five so go ahead work them and uh, I'll meet you at the end of this round <laughs> So once you are done working 5 sets of 3 double crochet followed by a chain 5 space we are going to tighten the magic ring and then we are going to work a slip stitch on top of our starting chain 3 to close this round 1 and then you can go ahead tighten your uh, magic ring even more and uh, tightly secure it with a knot. So now that our round 1 is complete we can go ahead work our round 2 for proceeding with round 2 we are going to work a single crochet on the second double crochet of the three double crochet set and then in the chain 5 space I am going to work one half double crochet and then four double crochet and then a picot. A picot is nothing but work a chain 3 after your fourth double crochet and then work a slip stitch on top of the fourth double crochet so this will create a small uh, bump like uh, thing uh, up. so that will be called as our picot so I'm not going to explain this anymore so picot is chain 3 and then work a slip stitch on top of our fourth double crochet and then once you're done with picot work four more double crochet and one half double crochet all in the chain five space so in the chain five space we will have one half double crochet four double crochet picot four double crochet one half double crochet so this will give us our 
petal so we've done crochet one of our petals so and then work a single crochet on the second double crochet of the next three double crochet set and then in the chain five space we are going to work one half double crochet four double crochet picot four double crochet and then one half double crochet so this is going to give us our, our second petal so go ahead work uh, on all the remaining chain five spaces so what we are going to do is we're going to work a single crochet on the second double crochet of the three double crochet set and in the chain five space we are going to work one half double crochet four double crochet picot four double crochet and one half double crochet so continue working like this round i'll meet you at the end of this round <music> Once you are done working all the petals, work a slip stitch on top of your starting single crochet to close this round. So once you are done with this, you can fasten off and then our earring is now complete. So go ahead weave your ends. So this is our cute little Mayflower crochet earrings. And... Uh, I have weaved the edges now let's block our earring because it's not stiff so the blocking pattern is available in the sunburst crochet earring tutorial I've sh showed you complete blocking instruction there I've attached the video link in the description box now let's go ahead attach the earring hoops to our earrings this is the blocked earrings that I have. So this is super cute, simple and very very quick and easy pattern. This can be worked in minutes and, and it makes a wonderful gift. Please try this pattern at home and you can find the written pattern in our website theyarnbowlcrochet.com. Please do not forget to subscribe to The Yarn Bowl and click on the bell icon as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.